Hello everyone, my name is Reclusive Z, and with Stalker 2's uh, release sometime within the next two months, unless it gets delayed again, the zone is calling to me. It has been many, many years since I last played this. I mean, what, Cherno Shadow of Chernobyl 2007, I think Clear Sky was 2009, and Hip Yacht was 210. I played them back then, I beat them, did some minor modding, but I have not touched these games again in probably 15-ish years. So I've decided to return with the prequel, Stalker Clear Sky, and I will be playing the last Fallout overhaul. And my god, does it, it has options. Enhanced X-Ray Engine to DirectX 11. And we've got the basics in here. But this has been expanded upon. Then we've got the interface. Weapon lists or weapon stuff. HUD. Then you go back to video and you've got an advanced menu now for shaders and such. I've been tweaking these in preparations for making this video. Get back out of that the sun modifications and you back out of that for the HUD modifications out of that for more sun it's amazing the amount of detail and work that has gone into just all the different things you can turn on for this game extras I said I've been going through tweaking these making adjustments as I go but I've decided to I'm going to use these settings and uh We'll see how things go, as it says down here, Fallout Overhaul plus Advanced X-Ray Engine. 64-bit variant. I'm going to play under uh, Master. And hope the game doesn't kill me, because I don't think I have any of the skills I had back in the early 2000s. We have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. Whoa, he's waking up. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened to you? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. 
I've been lucky? Mm, I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs. But our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Deal. Ah, uh, back in clear sky. It looks so familiar, though it's definitely darker. Looking pretty good so far. Can't see shit, Captain. Well, let's go see the barman. I did play up past this just a little bit, just long enough to make sure all the settings were correct. Welcome back from the afterworld. Hello, Merc. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of a gun. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures, because I'm just dying of curiosity. Well then, you drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I was collecting bottles one after another and they led me here. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Uh, truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me cold around here. In our base, as you can see, it's a small sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back, or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it, and the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev, Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than... Well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray, and he can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a trader, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. He knows what stalkers go through to get their loot, and he respects that. Cool. Leave the Merc alone with your dirty jokes. I need to see him. Well, brother, if Libedev said... Discussion. Go on. I'll catch you later. And it... some fresh air you look better that's for sure let me fill you in on this situation 
You're in the Clear Sky Base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. I see. How can I help you? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground, but you... One look at you tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. Your experience can save the lives of many This is the second outpost. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Help! That's enough chit-chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? I do believe so. Great. Get over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Can do. Doctor is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. Roger that. You're with us again? Glad to see you. At last! Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. Look at all those items. That is a lot more than you normally get. I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. First, you put that gun away. You have my full attention. Speak up, will ya? Alright, everything looks fine in here. Hold 
master your weapon. You have some business for me or what? My mask respirator is already bad. Or my filter, I mean. Oh yeah, almost. See if I can remember how to do all of this. There goes something turning into pieces. Something going to pieces twice. I'm going to pieces three times. Oh, by the way, you can sometimes find artifacts and anomalies. You can see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. <laughs> ah. I'll take your hand. That looked to be two jellyfish artifacts. That was. But I can't equip them currently. I don't remember if there's actually anything else out here in this area. As much as I am for immersion, I may turn off the raindrops. I thought I remembered something about a tower. Oh, nope. Here, piggy, 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 piggies. In a mission. Well, who am I not to take your equipment? Hmm, maybe get my hands on some more equipment. Nope. Oh, the bird's falling out of the sky. I'm alive! Okay.
Let us take that off. Unload. Unload. Um. Yeah, so uses a different variation of ammo, but still useful. Now we're back in the clear sky base. I don't remember if there's lootables like boxes and stuff out here or not. This free loot is good loot, but... You survived the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point where our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Veve, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. A normal emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone. A discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat, akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that the recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish crater. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the Scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the Brain Scorcher. I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the Scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, Whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. You're right, but we do know how to prevent a disaster and stop the emissions, and that means something. We have to find out who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. There's a strange connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. I knew you'd ask that. The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. 
help us and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? Eh, yeah, sure, what the hell, why not? Then listen carefully. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Through these swamps, of course, how else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Sounds like a plan. Start talking, buddy. Your main guide is the objective section. Your main objective is displayed here, together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Mm -hmm. Most um, objective. Okay, I broke loose. I found out how to do it. Wow, I was not expecting that. Yeah, sure. I don't have any money. I'll be back to get your loot later. A visitor? I'll be right there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? I wish. Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, so long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life, or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere. Even in the zone, even in the swamps, and even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key, and the army has all the ways in and out sealed think about it. Nowadays, artifacts and rare specimens from the zone can be found all over the world. And your fellow stalkers never have a shortage of canned meat, vodka, ammo, or equipment. Somebody's got to be responsible for all that, right? <laughs> well, that's where we come in. In this place, it ain't like selling bootleg CDs on the outside with the cops up your ass every damn day. Around here, the situation is very simple. The outside world has an interest in the zone and vice versa. But it's officially forbidden, prohibited, and all that bullshit. That's what we're here for. We make sure all those interests are satisfied and everybody's happy. There's a joke among traders that if someone points a gun at you, your best bet is to try to buy it off them. Makes sense. Uh, let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there, but the best tidbits pass this place by. I haven't had a unique item in my store for ages. Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the Scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last you a lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there, then. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I've told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. Super light Kevlar body armor, nice. Oh, there. You can have two pistols. And a hand. I'm not giving you my jellyfish. You know they're worth quite a bit. Is, uh, uh, I think those, if I remember those being useful, because they get rid of radiation. Let's 
So what all does he have in his store? Because, uh, yeah, that's a lot. And it's all very expensive. Let's look at weapons. Ooh, backpacks. Twenty. Thirty-five. Fifty-five. Carry almost 100 k kilograms of weight. Oh, that'd be handy. Between what I've got now and that. Unless it only boosts me up to 55. I don't know. Improv improved headlamp. What was that? 40 millimeter grenade launcher. That'd be handy. Alrighty. Oh, that's enough here. Have a seat. I don't genuinely remember if there is loot in this place back over here at barkeep i see you just a minion what's new bro and maybe Still later If I remember correctly, up here is the uh, armory guy. So maybe I can add a uh, I pocket. I faults in hardware, not in its owner's arms. What's up? See for yourself. There's hardly any equipment. It's like life after a nuclear war. If we do get a hold of something, it's about to fail anyway, and there ain't shit around to use for spare parts. That's why I'm having to adapt whatever I find and use it as best I can. Only last week I needed to make a radio receiver. What do you think I use for parts? That's right, a goddamn fridge. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Yeah, there ain't much to get excited about around here. Not like the garbage. I heard they dug up old Soviet caches. After the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, they sent convoys there with contaminated vehicles and equipment and all sorts of other crap. They thought it was all waste because it was radioactive. That was then. Nowadays, nobody would even call that radiation. So there's a real gold rush going on there. Stalkers are flocking over there from all over the zone to dig for loot. It's a pity not much of it filters through down here, unless Lebedev sends the boys to pick up specific components. special. I repair and upgrade weapons and suits. Basically, I do whatever needs getting done. If you need something fixed, I'm your man. Yeah, if I could get a few spare parts, I would make the guy some real nice toys. Weapons, armor, equipment, I'd take them all to a whole new level. Remember, if you bump into something useful, bring it here, and I'll do it all real nice. That's a promise. Well, I guess I'll look for those. Remember, to be a good shooter, get your gun talking at the right time. What's up? Oh, there we go. No, I might as well add an artifact container because I've got the cash for it. Oh, hell, might as well add two. I have plenty of cash. Increase my weight by five. I guess that's good enough for me right now. You get any Jellyfish artifact really increased my endurance. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. 
You already have a basic understanding of some things, while others will necessitate a more detailed explanation. The inexplicable fact is that twice you were affected by emissions and survived. Clearly, you were not subjected to the peak of these emissions because you most certainly would have been killed. However, it does appear that you are able to survive emission levels that are lethal in others. That is the general outline of what took place. It's true some of your abilities, such as motor skills, reaction, and endurance, improve rapidly after the emission. It seems that the emission supplied your body with energy. Conversely, this brief period of strength is followed by a sharp decline in your well-being, the effects of which you are currently experiencing. Finally, I'm going to tell you something you already know. The emissions are destroying your nervous system. If they keep reoccurring, you will die, or what's worse, lose your intelligence and your very self. So basically, I'm being overcharged. Regrettably, no. The best I can do for you is to reduce the negative impact of emissions on your body. I am currently concluding a series of tests, and after Lebedev confirms the results, I will be in a position to carry out the necessary procedures. However, I would like to stress once again the fact that this is not a panacea. It will not solve the problem. All you are getting now is a little more time until the point when your nervous system begins to break down. Alas, that is all. The only other thing I can do for you is answer any questions you may have. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be, or indeed are, completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions, let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. Not a bad idea. How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now? Now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. And that's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent the disaster. Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. And well, until then, medicine me, medicine man. And all this is going to be expensive. Yeah. Ah. Hopefully. Well, I would say it is time to go wander the uh, first portion of the zone. Stalker, what do you want? So we're all the way over Speak here. Up, will ya? So I will admit, from my vague recollections of you this game, for me or what? I, I I don't remember the map being this big. What are you waiting for?
A bitch enemy. Yeah, I don't remember it being this big. So, uh, my hopes of finishing this game, well, Clear Sky, Shadow of Chernobyl, and Pipyat, Pripyat, all before Stalker 2 comes out, might be a little extreme. Especially since I'm replaying these with the barest of recollections. Because I know this is where Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl starts. I remember that much. But I, uh... I think Call of Pripyat is somewhere in this zone. I don't fully remember. But, uh, until then... I need to go get prepared and... What you need, Stalker? Move into the next zone, so I will be back. Alrighty, it's time to return to, uh... You have my full attention. The zone. We're there, so you can take your blindfold off. Don't you try to follow me, it won't work anyway. If you want to come back to the base, find one of the guys at the fishing camp. Mark, it looks like you're at the Great Swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. You should find the location of our squads there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. Get myself to the fishing village. It'd be a good idea. And then I will, um, go take that outpost. There sounds like a firefight. Oh, the firefights at the uh, lookout tower. Mutants. Mutant dead. Wherever it died. Where are you little shits hiding? There it is. I could have sworn there were supposed to be enemies over here. Hey base, we've captured the target location. It's not. Seems the clear sky guys had it handled even on master. Free loot's free loot. So... I need to go pick a fight over there.
I don't think any of those landed. Nope. There is an army of mutants over there, just, uh... Hey, uh, yep. So, I think I'm gonna go that way. One of them died. One of them's getting ready to die. Any useful loot over here? Any interesting guns? I could always use... Can I just highlight guns like that? It's a handy feature. Does that work for... Oh. Well, there's a lot of corpses to pick over. I'm happy for that. Here, piggy, piggy. Oh, piggy, piggy. Oh, piggy, piggies. Oh, piggy, piggies. The zone is alive with piggy, piggies. Capture pumping station, which I believe is, yep, right behind me, or right in front of me. As I do believe these allies coming up behind me. We're going to be moving in that general direction. And plenty of shotgun ammo. Well, I'll move up with these guys. Good thing to remember. Unload my weapons. Up to 51 kilograms. That is problematic as hell. Lots of unfriendlies. Mark, we're waiting for your signal. Hey, you alive over there or what? Can I yep, blow those up? Well, he went flying after they hucked a grenade up at me. I don't know why that missed. But it did. I'm beep. Ah, 
Bye bye. Base, we've dislodged the enemy. Ooh. Nice new gun out of that. The base, we've captured the target location. Might as well heal. I'm gonna move these down here. Uh, health, health, hunger, thirst. Getting tired. Food's full, need more water. Eh, dirty water. Take a look, Sandy, have another swig. Repair kit. Somebody fighting over that way. That was a lot of random drinks. a hand grenade burned up my endurance pretty bad as I'm overweight Lots of goodies in that. Unfortunately, I'm pretty thoroughly overweight. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure I don't have any ammo for that. Nope. That's interesting to keep that loaded. And so my best idea is to go over here, <clears throat> collect that, collect that, go back there, go back to town, sell my stuff, whatever I don't need. And then uh, keep progressing. I 
because these guys just keep picking missions. I guess my headset died. My headset died. It is loot around here somewhere? After much searching, I finally found it. It is right here. Oh, baby. What are you? Wow, that's a lot. Um, take all. Okay, where do you go? You go right there. Ooh, over under. And I'm overweight. I'm overweight by a lot. Shit. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can use this as a stash. I might be able to use this as a stash. Well, I'm going to save and I will check that when I come back. Um, how do I... I don't think I could put down a personal waypoint. All right, I'm going to go drop stuff. I'll, uh... Return if anything interesting happens. You're with us again. Want to trade? I am with you again. Let us trade. You can have that, that, these. You can have, um... I didn't realize that shift was the trade button. I don't know if there's a fast way to... Damn it. So I don't really use this ammo. You can have the uh, spoiled food, bandage, bleeding, oh, dirty water. I'll keep the energy drink. As much as I'd hate to get rid of that. The truth and honesty, I'd kind of rather have that over that. And this gun eats. Well, I can have a silencer. Expensive. Unfortunately, he does not sell. You know what? I need... Yeah, batteries are expensive. I need batteries. I don't really know if I need the filters. I really don't know if I need the filters. I would like a new headset, but I'd be in my best interest to get rid of that right now. Keep this. Buy the ammo for it. Stock up on shotgun shells and these. Get rid of the darts, just because I don't really care for those right now. I don't really know if I need the taws. So I can't equip it here. Still got a lot of weight. Well done, men. We've reinforced our position in the swamps enough to give the renegades a real good kicking. Our next objective is their main base. Still have a tremendous amount of weight. So as it turns out, just about anything can be used as a stash in this game. So I'm going to use this car. Keep this in here right now because as much as I want to use it, that one works just as well as that one. So. As I've cleared my stash, I'm going to go sell stuff. I'll be back. I've decided to hit two more stashes while I'm out here. I think, uh, I think there's something relatively decent in here. I think. Whatever the hell a diamond is. No point worrying about my radiation right now because the uh, artifacts are eating it. I see corpses. Unlootable corpses. 
Well, lootable, just no loot. Submachine gun muzzle break. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go sell stuff and I will be back when I am, uh, I highly doubt those guys will be able to take out that faction. But I've been wrong before. Clear Sky is just dominating right now. And I don't know why. Well, this puts me closer to my overall objective, so I'm going that way. And I wish the rain wasn't so loud, but they don't give me many options for turning sound down. I really hope the uh, Clear Sky doesn't manage to push them out of there. Wow, Clear Sky's gonna do it. Mm, Clear Sky's pretty much invalidated my existence. Huh, they're gonna take the machine yard. I'm impressed. There's an anomaly over there distorting the water. Like, by a lot. That is damn impressive. I don't remember seeing that. Well, don't mind if I do. Jesus, clear sky. I thought you guys weren't fighters. But they're really uh, proven otherwise. Clear sky is out there just dominating. I could use this as a player stash too. Oh, stash found. Yeah, maybe I'll use this as my stashing point. As I go around and clear up everything I can, basically just looting the dead. Um, hmm. Oh, what the hell with it? Let's go back to Clear Sky. Yeah, here, you want a bunch of loot that I didn't earn? Drop in next time you're in our neck of the woods. Because the enemy this clear sky is more dangerous than I ever expected them to be. How much is your biggest backpack? 25,000? I don't have enough for that yet. Ooh. Well, I might have enough for that if I don't buy anything else. Hey, just enough. So, radiation, telepathy, chemical, bulletproof 20. Bulletproof 40. Radiation 5. Well, I have a feeling I'll be shot more than anything else, so... Eh, they held it. I'll buy the backpack later. I could use a proper helmet. I ain't this thing. Oh, I got a reward. Good luck. Yay, I have night vision now. Oh wow. My vision is handy. Need something up what's up. Item lost, item lost. Gain money, upgrade. Can I do anything to this? Nope. Might as well finish upgrading my armor for right now. There's a new shot. Well, since these are my primaries right now. Caliber, 9 by 18. Oh, so I can use pistol ammo. Shit, I've been selling that. Well, let's up the accuracy, because... Oh, yeah, let's go with accuracy for right now. Relatively cheap. Flatness would probably be a good idea. And handling. Flatness would probably increase its range. Yeah, I thought that blocked that one. Good enough, I've got yeah. basics. Oh, that's neat. So they're basically sending an army to take out that point already.
So... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go explore around. I mean, I could technically go help them. I don't think there's really any point. The bandits have basically been pushed to extinction already. You know what? I'm gonna rest first. Let's see if the storm passes. Let's go to 10. Damn, it is still storming. Fatigue is gone. What you need, stalker? Um, but I'm, but I'm. What is this one? Ruins of the village. Let's go there. Take that out and we'll explore around here. Haven't seen many artifacts so far. Wow. I got hit hard. I don't think it's discarding my mags every time I use them. Oh, there he is. Yep, nope, they're mine. I was wrong. Gotcha. There he was. Let's eat some food. Food is good. Back to water. Uh, 
Out of water. Water went fast. Bread dried me out. Another grenade. The soda is eat this. Now, if I remember correctly, the area where uh, we fell in the intro is right here. So I want to explore that too. I think the uh, bandits might hold that off. Yeah, I want to go over there. I want to explore around over here and over here. Stop pushing the wrong buttons. So far, I'm really digging this mod. It's impressive. The game looks good. Some of the stuff they added in is pretty great. Nothing? Yeah, let's go that way. I don't know what's that way, but... At least I don't remember. Maybe there's an way over there. There's gotta be a way over there. It's probably down where I had to cross the, or where we were uh, crossing through initially. What the unholy hell was that? Oh, I've never experienced that before. I don't remember that. What the hell was that? Oh, that had me panicking immediately. No shit. All squads, dig in at key positions and wait for further instructions. Clear Sky cleared out the bandits all on their own. Okay. Yeah, nope. I've got nothing for that. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna push towards that corpse. Cause I saved. So it takes a good chunk of my endurance. Is that the cat doing it? Ow! I was, I was being overwhelmed by psychic pussy. That's not how I seen my day going. I, I am gonna have to remember that that that's, that is psychic meow mix. This guy. Huh. Yeah, nope, that was, uh, I did not have that on my bingo card.
I wonder if there's not a way over there. Plenty of these. Anything in that? No. There are enemies over there. There's an anomaly right there. Yep, I pissed off some stalkers or uh, secondaries. Ow! Well, uh, they kind of have the advantage on me. It'd be nice if I could kind of lure them up the hill. Yeah, I may have no choice but to go down and find them. There's one. Jesus. That was an impressive amount of damage. Gotcha. Was an impressive amount of damage you put on me. Not getting a lot of fluids. <laughs> Might have to drink the dirty water. Of course, the radiation will pretty much be eaten up by the uh, relic. Is this one the one that's got the uses? Or for? Three or four. All right, water's under control. Meanwhile, pseudo dog tail. save and uh, I will be back. I went back to where I found the uh, psychic meow mix in that corpse. I could have sworn I was having a vague recollection of there being a way through all of this. Yeah, if I just run this way. Yeah, I can get through the fence. 
So now I can explore over here because I remember there being something of interest around this area. I've, I'm having the vaguest of recollections. And uh, that in and of itself is pretty wild because I said I haven't played this game for like 12 years. Unfortunately, I'm highly overweight. Oh, I am right at the pinnacle. I carry anything else, I won't be able to move. Kick ass, the bandits did something. They retook over shit. I thought this was gonna be Clear Sky turning into the supermen of the game. I am wholly surprised that <laughs> Clear Sky is like, we're not fighters, we're, you know, we need help type shit. And then they're like, yeah, bandits are nothing. Ooh, that came out of nowhere. Anything up here? I'm not finding a lot in the ways of artifacts currently. How do I hear like a heartbeat? What is making that thumping noise? I've hit a wall. I think I've hit a wall. Yep, I've hit an invisible wall. Then I'm going to go down here. Was the point of this? What the hell is that? It looked like there was something back there. Did I pick something up without noticing it? I did. I now have a Vela's detector. I do believe that is the third generation detector. That startled the living shit out of me. Okay, so what is that? Gravy. Rabbi. Well, that is very handy. I gain one radiation, but that relic eats radiation. Oh, well, that just made my journey a hell of a lot easier. Well, shit, now I have the third generation, uh, detector. I did... I don't remember finding this in my, when I first played this game. Well, shit, that's handy. What else is out here? All right, so I have no choice but to leave. This is really sick. I've never found this before. I didn't know you could get this this early on. 
I'd like to explore that tunnel over there. Over up there. That's a world wall. And those bandits are back. So I'm gonna go back this way and menace those bandits. Yeah, I'll come up from below this time. I think my helmet has permanent night vision. Which I should just start using it from now on instead of the... It'll save me batteries. I think this game is going to be a really neat experience playing it now that I'm far older and far wiser than I used to be. That and the world is far different from, uh, 2000 and, well, 9. Took it back already? Okay, good. No, they didn't. They... I don't know what they took back, but it wasn't that. They saw me first. <laughs> We've got the power of AI in bushes. downed instantly or I was bleeding out and didn't realize it you know I might have been better off taking them from above they're just well hidden He still got me with a lucky shot. So. Wow. I'm having quite a bit of difficulty. These guys are very, very accurate. hit pretty good anyways. Seal. I need a proper long range. Oh. 
I need a very proper long range weapon. They are way more accurate than I am. I'm just barely able to make out flashes of blue. That's the bandit color. It's two down. So now it's just shotgun or McGee. I think that's a corpse. Yep, expecting him to sidestep. That's what I was being shot by. No wonder I got hurt. Holy crap. Oops. Fortunately, my inventory's filling up. Again. So I am going to go back to uh, town, sell a bunch of stuff, and I will be back when I go to invade. Yeah, you know what? I'll invade over here. Technically, I'm close enough to here. I'll run that way. The renegades managed to recapture their lair. They can't allow those bastards to live right on our doorstep. We need to smoke them out of their base, whatever it takes. Well, I'm back over here now, which I think is the machine yard. Yeah, it looks like they got forces coming down. So I will run in and uh, try and take up some kind of a position. Put some hurt on them. There are a lot of corpses in here. Yeah, I thought I saw a red dot. laying down or is he oh damn that's an impressive amount of damage that doesn't seem to be a normal bandit
They are hurting me a lot. Got him. That is an impressive amount of... Oh my. Oh my. Well, I may be... Oh my, dropping a lot of other toys. Yeah, I can't move. Um, hmm. This is problematic. Um. Well, let's ditch. Let's ditch these for now. Let's see what other Uzi AK-74. A way better pistol. Well, I wanted a better weapon. Uh, yup. That takes up that slot. HK MP5 SD. Um, wow. Drop by our base sometime. We'll find a way to pay you back. That's a promise. Yeah, yeah, you will. Technically, you've already paid paying me back. Oh, uh, what the hell? Excuse me, exosuit. Yeah, do you want to trade by any chance? Stalker, what do you want? You have some business for me or what? Yeah, no, I don't have any business for you. Um, hmm. Well, we're going to. Wow. Yep, there's a trade spot. Or not a trade spot. A uh, mobile teleport. How much better condition is this Mossberg than my other one? I hope all this stuff stays. I will be back. What do you want anyway? Never mind. There's a stash next to you. I need to go pick up everything. I need to pick up everything. My inner loot goblin is just, just a ticking. Holy crap, this was a lot of equipment. This is a lot of good equipment. And I still down two more over there. Oh my. Nope, I'm overloaded again. And no, I was not expecting any of this. Well, I am significantly uh, more prepared. Another damn Mossberg. <laughs> Alrighty. What do you want, anyway? If I told you, you'd cry. Let's, um... Let's dump as much weight as I can so that I can take back as much equipment as possible. Yeah, back to base, please. I need a bigger backpack. You're with us again. Want to trade? Yes. Ooh, item. CS1 body armor. Drop in next time. The hell did I just get? There's guy one body arm. Oh, okay. Oh, that's 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 earning my love. Upgrade. Want to trade? Yes, yes, I do. Need a bigger backpack. How's that? Oh, I wonder if that's how I put down a personal storage. 35, 22, 55. There we go. Perfect. I brought home just enough equipment to get that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go with that trade. Good luck to you.
<laughs> yeah, there we go. 95. Yeah. Okay, I need to bring back more stuff to trade. And I'm just glad I got a bigger backpack. And I'll figure out figure out my weight management later. So, uh, yeah. Wow, that's uh, that's a hell of an upgrade, boy. These guys really set me uh, set me up for the future. I uh, can't wait to play with most of this new gear I've got. So, in this return to Clear Sky, I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my content. If you do, if, if you did, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, share my videos out because it will uh, help me gain a better understanding of my community. And, you know, if you want to see me play other old games like this, I'd be more than happy to do it. And I will uh, catch you all in the next video.